Hey Ben. I messaged you because you neglected to send me money for this month. Are you serious? Are you still attempting to freeload from me? Kiva, you're 25 now. You are employed. I am unable to continue providing you with an allowance. Don't say that. You are my only remaining family. You are my only reliance. And you can't even support me? Uh. Well. Oh, I see how it is. You do not cherish your beloved younger sister. That's why you don't want to help me out. That's not it. I'm being tough to make you more independent. I've been babying you too much. It's not easy for me either. Um. Yeah, whatever. And? Am I getting my allowance or what? I'll send you a hundred bucks later. Only one hundred? It's my birthday this month. How does two hundred sound? I love you. I'm so glad you're my brother. Thanks. It's the least I can do. I vowed to take care of you. When mom and dad died I swore to them that I'd make you happy. Ben, you're the best. That's how my brother should be. I'm only doing my parts. You've given me the hope to live. Oh, by the way. I need to tell you something. What's up? Should I brace myself? Actually. I'm getting married. Oh, what? You? Getting married? You're only 25. It's too early. Too early? Ben. I'm 25. I'm not a child anymore. And you're already 30, right? You really should be worrying about yourself. This isn't about me. Kiva, are you serious? You're kidding, right? No. Why would I lie about getting married? You're the first person I'm telling this to. And you're not even happy for me. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy for you. It's just... Um... I just feel a little lonely. Like a father sending his daughter off. Ben. Sorry. Got a little emotional. Anyways, so I'm getting married. You should feel honored to be the first to know. I'm grateful for that, but... If you're seriously gonna get married, I need to meet the guy first. What? Why? It's only natural to introduce your fiancé to your parents since we have no parents. I'll take their place. No. Don't worry about it. I don't want to put you through the trouble. It's no trouble. These steps are important. I'll make you sure he's worthy of marrying you. Fine, maybe. Just once I'll tell him. Okay. Kiva, what the heck was that today? What's wrong? How did you like my fiancé? He's so handsome and sweet. Sweet? Yeah. He may be handsome, but he is not sweet. Um, what are you saying? He's the best anyone can wish for. His looks may be good, but his attitude is crap. Oh my god. What do you mean? Don't you put him down like that. What's wrong with his attitude anyways? He even opened up his schedule to meet you. His first impression was fine, but he gradually changed his tone. How could he speak to his fiancé's brother like that? And he made fun of me for not going to college. I started working to take care of you, my sister. Calm down, he was only being honest. Everyone goes to college nowadays. Being uneducated really is embarrassing, you know? That's why I didn't want you to meet. Don't get mad at me when I did what you asked for. Hey, Kiva. All this time I've been working my butt off for you and this is how you repay me? Oh, come on. You act like I owe you for something. I don't recall anything of the sort. I quit college after mom and dad died and started working so you could have a decent life. 
And you mock me for being uneducated? You think I had a choice? Yeah. Yeah. I never asked you to do that for me. It was your call so don't put it out on me. This coming from you, I can tolerate. But what nerve does that gym guy have to make fun of me? He hardly even knows me. I don't think he's in the wrong so if you're gonna continue to chastise me I'm done here. Later. Ben, I'm having a wedding. What? You mean with John? Of course. Who else? Really? I guess my words weren't enough. Enough for what? Like I said, John is not to blame. Don't go judging him just for making fun of you. Yeah, sure. You're so obsessed with him. Nothing I say is gonna help. You're the one that's gonna be stuck with him for the rest of your life. Do as you wish. Not like I needed your approval anyways. Oh, and... You're not invited to our wedding. What? I'm not invited? Your brother? That's irrelevant, John, and I came to an agreement. That our wedding is not for the uneducated, I don't want you to mess things up. Poor people, without their manners, can be a hazard. Wow. You two mock me for not being educated, and now I'm shut out of the wedding for being poor? Is there a problem? The wedding is for John, and I will decide who comes. Why invite someone you don't want to see? Who do you think I am? I'm your only family. I took care of you all these years. How dare you not invite me to your wedding? I don't see what's wrong. As I've been saying, I never asked for it. You were just being overprotective. You really were a nuisance sometimes. Be grateful I didn't ghost you. Ghost? Me? Is that how you felt all this time? I'll finally be able to leave you when I get married. So just thought I'd let you know. Thank you for all the obsessive love you gave me. It was really annoying all along so I'm thinking of cutting ties with you. Seriously? Of course. I've got John with me now so don't bother me anymore, okay? Very well. As you wish. I'll clue you in if something comes up so don't you come contacting me, okay? Bye. Ben, what's up? It's been a while. Um, yeah. What do you want? Aren't you happy your dear little sister contacted you? I don't feel the enthusiasm. I was expecting you to burst out your love for me. Yeah, I may have been like that before. But we're complete strangers now. Yeah, you're right. Don't tell me you're still you're still hurt from that. I'm fine. So, what do you want? John and I got married today. We're now officially husband and wife. Okay. Good for you. Is that all you have to say? Oh. Because we're strangers now and you're not coming to our wedding tomorrow. Oh. Is it tomorrow? Completely slipped my mind. What do you mean? Your dear little sister is getting married, and you forgot? Sister? How many times must I tell you, we are complete strangers? I have no sister who is having her wedding tomorrow. You must really be bored to come contact me. I went out of my way to let you know. And you wonder why John made fun of you? Yeah, sure. I remember now. I used to have a sister that got married with an imbecile with no manners. Good thing I have nothing to do with her now. What? Don't you speak badly of John. John is smart and elite. And his father is also a great man and uneducated commenter like you wouldn't know. And I just joined their ranks today. So I'm in a different class from you now. It's only natural to cut ties. Yeah, cool. Sounds good to me. I'm happy with cutting ties with you. Best not get involved with each other anymore. You're being so lighthearted. How boring. I was expecting you to start crying again. 
Sorry to let you down. You're not of interest to me anymore. Okay, whatever. I'll at least send you pics and don't forget to send me wedding gift, okay? Later. Ben. I told you to send me a gift. When is it coming? Why am I in any position to send you a gift? You're complete stranger. Stranger? We are ex-siblings. Precisely. That means we are strangers. What's wrong with you? Ruining my mood on my wedding day. Damn party pooper. You done? I'm not bored enough to listen to a stranger ramble. Enough with a stranger? You used to be so obsessed with me. Don't be so drastic. Is it that big of a deal that you weren't invited? Put yourself in my shoes of having to introduce an uneducated brother to my parents-in-law. Your parents-in-law aren't coming either. What do you mean? Everyone is scheduled to come. Schedules, yes. But they had a change of plans. What? How do you know? Where's the point in that? What? Why? They said they would come. Did you do something? Well, I just recently found out that I'm acquainted with John's father. You and his father? That can't be. He's a client of mine when we met up for a meeting yesterday. We were talking about how both of us had relatives getting married the next day. And we eventually realized we were talking about the same people. How must be kidding me? How can that be? He was excited about seeing me at the wedding and I told him I wasn't invited. He asked me why. So I told him everything. About being mocked by Jim for my educational background. John's father got infuriated. He decided on the spot that he wasn't going to the wedding. I'm actually heading over now to have lunch with him. Oh my god! Why are you two getting all close? If John found out that his father's not coming because of you, I'm in for it! Well, it's not just your fault. John is as much to blame. So lighten up. What do you mean lighting up? The wedding is today. You need to persuade John's father. Otherwise, he'll lose it. Sorry, it's time to meet up. I'll go enjoy my meal. You go and enjoy your wedding. After that. Kiva persisted in messaging me after that, prompting me to ultimately ban her. Meanwhile, I was relishing a meal with the father of John. John was throwing a fit at his wedding, which resulted in him being disavowed by his parents. John and Kiva's matrimonial union began on a dismal note, already having talks of divorce. When sitting in penthouse, Kayla received a phone call from a stranger. At first she ignored it but because of her sensitive responsiveness, she received the call, and there is the appearance of a woman. Hello, this is Kayla, what's going on? Hi Kayla, I'm Cleo. Sorry? Do you misunderstand? I don't know any Cleo. Of course you don't know me, but I know you comprehensively. I'm sorry to bother you, but there's something important need to tell you about your husband. Who are you to tell me about my husband? The one sleeps and eats with me every day. There is something I don't know about him? I'm sorry to say that, but please don't misunderstand me. I have just realized that recent period of time. Don't lose your temper, you just need to stay calm to hear me. I found out some troubling things about your husband and I think you should know. Don't beat around the burst. It's waste of my time. Your husband has been keeping some secrets from you. I've witnessed him engaging in dishonest behavior, like lying about his whereabouts and making inappropriate choices. He met at a coffee and then flirt me for three months. He acted like he didn't have wife and also a family. And I didn't know that. I don't understand, how could he do that? We've been married for years. He always kisses me before he goes to work, before I go to sleep. And when coming to any places, he still took a photo and sent it to me. I know all his work, his relationship with people and also his banking account. 
Are you sure about this? I understand your shock, but I felt it was my responsibility to inform you. I've seen him involved with not only me, but also some another questionable girls. And making decision that could potentially harm your relationship and family. I can't believe it. Do you tell me the truth? I swear, all thing I tell you is the truth. When I spot the truth, I tell him and he said to me that he just marry you because you're rich. And he can take the right to become the CEO of the company, after that he will divorce. When I met all the girls he has flirted, they said he'd tell them that decision too. He also promised to marry them. I still can't stand that. And can believe that's the truth. I feel so confused. Do you have any evidence? I can show you all the message and picture between Ma and him. And if you want, I can call him right now to take him here. What's happened? Now I'm very angry and also lose my mind. I can put me in your shoes to understand this situation. I feel relieved after saying that with you. Robert is a bad guy, you can't bring all your possession to that guy. I think I have to say sorry to you cause I partly made this bad thing happen to you. But sincerely, I don't know he has a wife. Thank you for being brave to call me. I can only offer advice but ultimately, the decision is yours. It might be helpful to have an open and honest conversation with your husband, expressing your concern and give him a chance to explain himself. It's important to maintain trust and communication, even in difficult times. You're right. I need to confront him and get answers. I don't want to jump to conclusions without hearing his side of the story, but it's difficult to think about the possibility of betrayal. I completely understand. And I'm so sorry to see you have go to through this terrible thing. Remember to take yourself throughout this process. Lean on friends and family to support, and consider seeking professional help if needed. You deserve honesty and transparency in your relationship. Thank you, Cleo. Your concern means a lot to me. I'll take your advice and talk to Robert. If I can, let me invite you go for the coffee. Thank you for not hating me and be friendly with me. Before I decide to call you, I imagine that you must be very angry and don't care about my advice. Even you cancel my phone call. You know, I am very sentimental that when I received the phone, I wondered that I must take it. It was hard for me to believe but when you willing to call Robert, I afraid he will come and I will be much disappointed. So I want to hear him say, not by the way you calling him to your place. I know it's not easy, but I know that you can overcome that situation. Thank for your words of encouragement. Robert uses Kayla's money, brings another girl to a luxury restaurant, and then he is caught red-handed by Kayla. Robert uses Kayla's money, brings another girl to a luxury restaurant, and then he is caught red-handed by Kayla. Robert? What are you doing here? Who is this girl? Kayla, why are you here? I ask you again. What are you doing here? It's not what you're thinking. I caught you red-handed. You hold the hand of another girl and have dinner with her at this luxury restaurant. You use my money. I'm so disappointed about that action, Robert. We have married for years. Why can you do that with me? No, it's just a misunderstand. This is my co-worker. I just invite her for dinner to talk about our business. Co-worker? Is there any co-worker that holding hand and go for a dinner together? Please don't get me wrong. You said this women are your co-worker, right? So what department does she work in? She works in. I will ask her one question to proof if she works in business or not. Hey, what is the most important rule that a sale must follow? The girl was very surprising when Kayla asked her that question, and she couldn't tell anything. See? She doesn't know anything about business, and it's the proof that she's not your colleague. Do you want to say any more? Okay, I can't side with you, that's the truth. Actually, 
Cleo has told me that for a long time. But I need time to accept the truth and see how thick-skinned you are. How could you possibly have done that? We knew each other for many years that you always be a good man for me. You never gotten me sad or angry. And I believed in you, I given all authority to operate the company. Also, my father considered you as his son cause he has only daughter, that's me. Let's divorce Robert. I don't have romantic feeling with you anymore. Are you serious, Kayla? You know, men in this world all have extramarital relations and they are all adulterer. But the difference is that his wife can find out or not. If he still takes care of the family, make money and never let his wife sad, he will be a good husband and a kid himself. Don't drive me crazy by that stupid word. If you are a good husband, you won't lie your wife. I feel very fortunate because I didn't have any child with you through many years. Because I always feel worry and have a little bit suspicions about you. Now, let's imagine if we have a child. I don't know how to tell them about their bastard father. I love you and I never thinking about the day we divorce. All the girls that I met is just for business. Don't explain too much. I don't have time to hear any lying word of you. I found a divorce petition earlier today, already signed. I just took the liberty of dropping it off for you. Ah. You stole my thunder. I was looking forward the day when I can file for divorce. You don't know the truth, please don't do wrong things. If you do that without any thinking, you may regret about your decision when you're angry. Why I have to regret about the person that's not worthy like you? Everything's is clearly, you can't give me the runaround anymore. This is a misunderstanding, I just connect with these girl to bring benefit to our company. No, Robert, I know everything and I will do everything before you do that. The one that can end this toxic relationship is me, not you. It's okay, haha, but I still own your dad's company. Now I'm the CEO and nothing can change that. What the hell is going on? What tolerant you are. You think I marry you and do everything for you because I love you? Haha, I marry you because your father is a famous billionaire and he has only you. When I was authorized to organize the company, I achieved my purpose became the king of cupboard. Every month I give you money because I want to take your trust and belonging. If we divorce, it mean I can take your father's company. You've gone too far, Robert. Although you were CEO, but everything are still under my dad's deck, Eisen. What a stupid idiot. You know, when we divorce, all the share you are owning will be divided into two parts. 50% is mine and all your assets will be split too. It's mine, not yours. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm president daughter and I have more share than you, so you will be kicked out of the company. I don't love you. And the day you catch me red-handed, I have prepared for it long time before. I have bought about 70% share of this company and now I can be voted as a president. I also have worked for this company for many years so it's very easy to take prestige and trust of shareholder. So this company is mine. That's it. I can take up with it. But I will protect my cop Amy. I won't let it fall into your hand. You've gone too far and you must suffer from the bad disastrous consequences. You asked for it. I don't want to divorce with you. Because live with you longer I will have more trust in the company. And my position will be more and more steady. Shut up and go away. You're a complete nutter. You have a lot of nerve. You piss me off. I will tell my father about your intention and we will sack you of the company. After that, Kayla come to her home and decide to tell her father all about Robert Guilty. When her father was watering the tree, Kayla came and hugged her father, whimpered. Kayla, what the matter with you? Why you crying? I will tell my father about your intention and we will sack you of the company. I have chosen wrong people to marry and now I have to bear the consequences. Calm down my little princess. Don't cry. The one that do bad things with you not worthy enough to take your tears. Save your tears for the happy moment. Don't cry for that great misery. I have spent over half of my life just to see you mature and happy. 
That's my promise with your mom so I don't want to see you sad. You know, your mother will be very upset if she know you're unhappy, right? But dad, why I can have the beautiful love like you and mom? I'm so disappointed about my husband. And I feel so sorry with you. Because you believed in my choice and give all the authority to my husband. The company is all your life. You established and developed it very well so it can become the big and charismatic company ever. I'm so sorry to let it into the hand of a bastard. Kayla, calm down and tell me all the truth. Three days before, a girl called me, she said that my husband has flirted her and she didn't know he has a wife. After she asked him about me, he said he just married me because of your possession. He has never loved me before. And not only that girl but also many another girl be treated like that. Did you check it's true or not? Definitely, I followed him for a long time and realized that he has a secret home in Texas. And he brings so many girls there, many time. Yesterday, I caught him red-handed, he took another girl to a luxury restaurant hand in hand. And when I came and ascertained, he was denying the truth. But I asked the girl, she's exactly his mistress. What happened after that? I offer him for divorce, but at the beginning he denied. When I exposed all the trust and he can say no word, he threw down a challenge. He said he has bought almost 70% shares of our company, added with mine, he can become the president. Ha ha, that's ridiculous. How hilarious he was. What do you say, Dad? All shareholders in our company are all my prestige subaltern. Don't worry. He can't do anything to despoil what does not belong to him. Really? Yes, I will find way to kick him out of the company and let him empty-handed. Because he made you cry. I won't forgive him. Thank you, Dad. I will divorce with him immediately and protect all your assets. It's okay, Kayla. You will find a person who can love you unconditionally and never treat you. Like the way I love your mom. Despite your mom are now in heaven, I still wait for the day I can meet her again. It will be the happiest day in my life. I love you, Dad. I will transfer all my shares to you and take more from my friend. And you can become the president. It's time for me to rest and I can't trust anyone else except you. Are you ready to shoulder this? Yes, I will do it the best and don't let you disappointed. Good job, my sweetie. After that, Mr. Andrew have a conversation with Robert and notice him that he will be sacked and have nothing. Mr. Andrew, it's my pleasure to meet you here. Everything runs smoothly and the money we can take is uncountable. Robert, I knew you treated my daughter and now I will kick you out of the company. I've always been cautious about my daughter's well-being and it's only natural for me to be protective. My daughter's happiness is my priority and I will do whatever it takes to ensure she is treated with love and respect. Divorce with my daughter and left the company before I kick you out. Ha, huh, but what you can do I have bought almost all the share. Ha, huh, you think you can lie me? I have called all the general meeting of shareholder and tell them all your crime. After that, they're all accept me to sack you. And you will left the company with empty-handed. No way! I can't stand that. I am prepared for a long time. Why can it fail? This is the ending of the one who bites the hands that feed you. Now you can go out of this room before I call the safeguard to cast you out. In the end, Robert have no job and every bad things he did be exposed to everyone. And he can't find a job and become a homeless people. Someone informed me that a strange old witch had crept into the wedding. I'm assuming you're the one. I need you to make an excuse and leave. You'll only embarrass your poor little sister. Oh, hello, Patrick. As always, you're charming. I'm afraid I don't fully understand you. You mean I'll just shame Orla if I stay? That is correct. I'm saying you're far older than she is, which will pose complications. We're going to spend the rest of our lives together, and I'm not going to let anyone or anything ruin our big day. 
not even her friends or family. I see. You are correct in one aspect. She is a lovely and amazing young lady. I see why you could be too concerned about her. Nobody could have predicted that her older sister would be such a wrinkled grandmother. Even Orla's beauty can't make up for your hideousness. In fact, the contrast makes it more difficult to look at you. So, for her sake, leave the wedding. And don't go upsetting her by telling her I said anything. Please excuse me? Are you saying what I think you're saying? You haven't even discussed it with Orla? Of course, I haven't told her anything about it. What did I just say to you? That is why you must devise a solution. Simply state that you have a cold or something similar. Are you serious about me right now? Have you noticed how thrilled Orla and I have been for her special day? Orla was essentially raised by me. At this moment, I'm like a father figure to her. It would crush her heart if I wasn't there to rejoice with her. Are you paying attention? That's why I advise you should come up with an excuse so she doesn't become upset. I suppose a dropout like you could require things explained in simpler words. What did you just say? Did you think I didn't know about your high school dropout? Orla and I both attended one of the best schools in the country. So when I first met you, I assumed you had taken a similar path to us and attended a good school. Then I find out you're simply a wrinkled high school dropout. To be honest, I couldn't stop laughing. So, I hope you understood our predicament and that I did everything I could to take care of her. I had to make some significant life changes in order to ensure that Orla was properly cared for and raised. And, due to my lack of a diploma, the only job I could get at first was that of a maid. But, you know, such decisions were not simple for me. Wait a minute. I understand that being a maid was possibly all you could do at the time. But how long has it now been? How many chances have you had to improve your situation? You mean you couldn't find another job in all this time? Is that all you can do? No way. At the very least, be honest with yourself. You're just old, stupid, and sluggish. What precisely do you mean? Do you think I never got another job? Okay, Granny, I suppose I don't really care about your sob story. I only have one thing to say to you, get out of here. All you're doing is lowering the mood. I know how I want my wedding to go, and if you're present, it won't be the great party I'm hoping for. I absolutely understand your desire for a memorable wedding day. But do you really believe that my appearance has an impact on my mood? To be honest, hearing you say something like that hurts my sentiments. You really need to get up and face reality, okay? You're no longer a young lady. Just glance around at all the other gals. There are so many babes that it almost makes me regret getting married. Look at the guys, I think we've gathered quite a collection of hunks. Is that how you'd refer to them? Anyway, this is your wedding, right? So you must have a friendship or relationship with the folks you've invited, don't you? Or did you actually choose your buddies depending on how attractive you thought they were? Oh, stop talking. Don't act as if you know who I am. Anyway, you're not a friend or family member in my opinion. And one look around at the other guests should be enough to convince you that you don't belong. Please do me a favor and avoid speaking to anyone on your way out. You shouldn't bother my buddies. In any case, I don't think I need to talk to any of them. Everyone here, including men and women, is much above you. They would never, ever want anything to do with an old hag like you. I have to agree with you on one point. There are a lot of gorgeous people attending this wedding. And, Patrick, aren't you about to take over the family business? I'm guessing the most of these visitors are high-ranking company leaders or board members. Yes, thank you for recognizing that I exclusively surround myself with excellent individuals. And don't have any brilliant notions. They are affluent and powerful men, and none of them will be interested in taking an old bag like you home. Pay attention to what I'm saying now. Only the most stunning young women are permitted. It's going to be the most amazing wedding ever. So pay attention to what I'm saying and go home right now. 
Very good. I see what you're saying. Please excuse me, but I can't seem to locate you anywhere. Are you still present? I was looking forward to finally meeting you. Have you yet arrived? Ah, uh, Tom. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am on my way home. Excuse me? Is something going on? Did you forget to bring something with you? Or are you in poor health? Did you get anything? No, it's not like that at all. I've been asked not to attend the wedding by the groom, and I don't want to ruin his wonderful day. What did he do? What could he possibly have meant when he said that? He claimed it was because I was an old high school dropout who was too wrinkly to be rubbing shoulders with gorgeous folks at the wedding. Or something similar. He also stated that I would only shame Orla if I attended the wedding. He said everything? You're telling me my employee stated all of that? Yes. I'm ashamed to even bring it up, but it's true. I've heard the term bridezilla, but I'm not sure what this is called. Grimora? That small smack. Does he even comprehend what he's doing? He might not be entirely wrong. Just the thought of offending my precious little sister on her special day makes me cringe. I couldn't bear the thought any longer and decided it was best if I just went home. I informed Orla I wasn't feeling well and wouldn't be able to stay any longer. Please wait a minute. Is what you're saying to me right now true? I know that sounds like a lot, but I'm not one to exaggerate. I'm deeply sorry for what he said to you, ma'am. I never thought him to be capable of such a thing. He's typically really courteous. If I'm being honest, I think I've seen that he has a propensity to overestimate himself at times. But to believe he'd go that far. I can't help but feel responsible for allowing things to deteriorate to this point. No, no, don't be concerned. It's conceivable he was just telling me what Orla was too terrified to say. Helen, you sacrificed everything to raise Orla. To think that spoiled child who has had everything handed to him would want to deprive you of the opportunity to attend your sister's wedding. It causes my blood to boil. I'll admit that the things he said initially wounded me. And I guess I panicked a little since everything happened so quickly. Of course, your emotions are entirely understandable. But the wedding is for Orla. I've been on the lookout for her for quite some time. I can handle it as well if it makes her day better. That is something I highly doubt. Is Patrick completely aware of the situation? As in, he's aware of what you sacrificed to ensure Orla's happiness? Yes. I did my best to explain everything to him. But he didn't appear to understand anything other than the fact that I was a high school dropout who had become a maid. I see. I believe I'll have a little chat with him then. Oh no. Don't trouble yourself with that. All I actually care about is that Orla is content. Are you certain about this? You already know how much you mean to her. I just don't understand how abruptly leaving the wedding will provide Orla the happiness you so desperately desire for her. Do you truly believe that? Don't be alarmed. I'll give Patrick a firm talking to. Please turn around and return to your sister's side for the time being. Okay. I will. Why was my boss yelling at me just now? Did you say anything to him that you shouldn't have? And why was he even talking to you? Don't tell me you were hitting on him because you thought he was hot or whatever. I believe I warned you about it. That is incorrect. The thing is. Our companies have been discussing collaborating for some time, so we scheduled some meetings in the near future. What? What do you mean? Have you started a new contract with our firm for cleaning services? I no longer work for a cleaning company. Actually, I own a cosmetics company. What do you mean, like a store manager? Or do you clean up after everyone has gone home? As if I owned the company. Do you own your own business? But I thought you were barely out of high school. I am a, simply a high school dropout. Someone who worked hard and eventually launched her own business. 
That is how I met your boss, Tom. And he wanted to make a formal introduction today, but you drove me away from the location. So I told him that when he asked where I was. Are you sure you're serious? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I don't like mixing my professional and personal lives. And you have nothing to do with my work at all. I didn't think I needed to say anything to you. But you thought it was okay to bully me the way you did before because of that. So what happens if Orla and I get married? That would be significant for both of our businesses, wouldn't it? All of this could lead to a merger between our two companies. I told you I don't like mixing my personal and professional lives. Even after I explained it to you, you simply will not listen. I believe your poor habit of not listening will land you in hot water one day. Even more trouble. Wait, what? What exactly are you on about? What kind of trouble do you mean? I'm simply stating that you may face a pay cut in the near future. When your supervisor found out what you'd done, he was shocked. I'm afraid he'll believe I'm going to back out of the arrangement I made with him. What? No! That was certainly not my intention. So you can explain it to him. I've already spoken with him about this minor issue, so it's completely out of my hands now. I should mention that he did speak with your father. He's who? Why would he do something like that? So, does your father own your company? Tom probably only wanted to know how you've been treating your future sister-in-law and potential business partner. Oh, my goodness! I must stop him! It is far too late. I spoke with your father already. He came to apologize to me. Wait, what? He apologized? Did you really do that? He did, indeed. He came to me and begged pardon. He expressed surprise that his own son could be such a foolish, thoughtless guy. Wait a minute. That wasn't really necessary, in my opinion. Please do not shoot the messenger. In any event, it appears that the majority of your wedding guests shared that sentiment. What exactly does that mean? I'm tired of how you've been speaking to me. Stop playing silly games and simply tell me what you want to say. I'm saying that all the lovely young ladies you've invited to your wedding are packing their bags and heading home. Are you serious? What are they thinking? They were supposed to add to the beauty of the day. What did you say to them? Yes, I'm sure that's what you are looking forward to the most today. And why are there so many lovely ladies attending your wedding? Is it true that you even asked one of them out on a date? Why are they acting in this manner? I would never do such a thing, and I would not allow such lies. Plus, I thought I told you not to speak to anyone at the wedding. Why did you open your mouth so wide? I'm afraid the entire situation was revealed to the guests. Everyone knew about the horrible groom who went behind the unfortunate bride's back and hit on one of the guests. What in the world are you on about? You should put a stop to this. You don't even have any proof of the things you're accusing me of. I heard it right from the poor girl's mouth. She appeared distressed. I'm not sure what you mean. And why were any of the lovely ladies conversing with an old hag like you? Yes, they are all young, stunning, bright, and generally lovely young women. But they all have something else in common. They are all useful to me. What exactly are you on about now? Patrick, come on. This is so basic that even a high school dropout can get it. All of those attractive young ladies work for my company. They had all come to celebrate Orla's birthday. But, evidently, after they learned that I had gone home, they all began to do the same. Are you sure? So these were all your workers? Were you not paying attention? I am the CEO of a cosmetics company. It appears that there are a lot of gorgeous girls that want to work in the beauty industry. Of course, I'm not just recruiting them for their beauty. But it must be stated that there are many lovely ladies working for me. I still can't believe it. 
so they're all employed by your cosmetics company. That's why she went and informed you about what I said to her, right? She did tell everyone. And, while I was shocked, the amount of people who were not shocked was even more startling. You appear to have been really busy, don't you? Following that, a slew of girls came forward with the same narrative. You really are a bad person at heart, aren't you? I felt nauseated after hearing the same story so many times. No, you're completely incorrect. I was simply inviting them out to eat. Why were you inviting girls to your own wedding for dinner? Were you actually hoping to utilize your wedding to meet girls? No. That is not at all the case. I just felt it would be useful to be able to contact them in case of an emergency. You already know that all the girls came to help Orla celebrate her wedding. You tried to interfere with her friendships. No! You've completely misunderstood me. That wasn't my intention. I was merely attempting to make friends with Orla's acquaintances. I simply felt the wedding would be a nice opportunity to get to know her friends better. Anyway, the majority of the girls you were bothering already had boyfriends. They quickly explained everything to Orla after you spoke with them. They told Orla everything? Everything. Not to mention how you looked down on me and referred to me as an elderly woman. And then you told me to make an excuse and leave the wedding. Wait, wait, wait. Let me clarify. Are you seriously attempting to derail my wedding? Do you think doing this will make your younger sister happy? I told her the truth about everything since I only want the best for my little sister. And, while it appears like the results will be sweat and being called off, I believe that this is for the best. It's far preferable to her being legally bound to a scoundrel like you. Please wait a moment, you must understand. If I'm left at the altar like this, everyone will think I'm a bad person. That sounds pretty appropriate to me. I'm so grateful you were kind enough to show me your true colors before the ceremony. Without all of your help today, I couldn't have liberated Orla from your terrible grasp. And now that everyone has seen what a disgusting person you are, I hope your pain is just beginning. Orla then slapped Patrick in the face while crying. Right in front of everyone who had come to witness their wedding. The wedding was then formally cancelled. Of course, Patrick's father was enraged. Any hopes Patrick had of succeeding his father as company president were shortly dashed. Both his boss and his pals left him hanging. Nobody ever wants to associate with such a horrible individual again. Hey Laura. How are you doing these days? Amy. I've been doing great. How about you? I'm good. Are you getting along with Kevin? Yes. We're still in the honeymoon phase, you know? We've just got married for six months. Good to hear that. If he dares to hurt you, tell me and I will scold him for you, okay? I'm his older sister-in-law. He will listen to me. Thank you, Amy. But it's fine. I think we can handle it. No need to thank me. We're family. Actually, I need some help right now. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What do you need? Can you lend me $80,000? My husband and I would really appreciate it if you could. What? Amy! What are you gonna do with such a huge amount of money? Why are you asking? I just want to borrow money from you. $80,000 isn't a small amount of money. It's huge. I need to know what you are going to use it for before I can lend you the money. It's for security. What do you need security for? I'm your family. You don't trust me? It's not about trust. I just told you that it's a huge amount of money. Besides, I don't have that much money to give you. I will also have to borrow from other people. But if you really need it for emergency, I can do that to help you. Oh, please. Don't pretend that you're trying to help when you're not helping anything. Amy! I'm not pretending anything. As you said, we're family now. I always try to help you to the best of my ability. 
I even worked for your husband's company for a while when he needed me. He's your older brother-in-law. Of course you have to help him. Besides, don't talk like you did it for free. We paid you quite a good deal. I will not say it's a good deal, to be honest. With my ability, I expected my salary to be much higher. But I worked there because Josh really needed me at that time. You're not so kind-hearted as I thought you should be, aren't you? Why can you be so cold to your husband's sister-in-law? I'm asking for help here. I also said I am willing to help if I'm able to. What make you think I have $80,000? I'm not a billionaire to give money away like paper notes. And I know you and Josh make more money than me and Kevin. I will pay back to you. Okay? Just give me the damn money. What's the big deal? I know you and Kevin made a fortune when you were studying and working abroad. We had to work our tails off to earn all of the money there. And I don't think it's a fortune as you said. Hey. Who gave your husband money to study abroad? England is a super expensive to live. And my husband provided him with all the expenses and tuition fee. You too should be grateful to us for what you have today. You're being ridiculous. Kevin got a fully funded scholarship to study in the UK. And both of us has been working so hard to achieve what we have today. Even if Josh really gave the money to Kevin to study, it was Kevin's hard work that leads him to his success today. He doesn't owe you and your husband anything. How dare you say that to me? You're so mean. I didn't expect you to be that mean. Oh my god. Kevin married the wrong girl. I didn't raise him to marry such a witch like you. What did you say? I didn't say a single offensive word to you. I've been talking very politely. Besides, you didn't raise my husband. His parents did. And now you're disrespecting me. You are nothing to me to be respected. You refuse to help your family when they need you. I don't think I can continue talking to you anymore, Amy. I'm too tired. And if you need money, go ask someone else or earn it yourself, madam. This is America, you know? I have no responsibility with you. I won't give you a penny. That's it. Don't forget how you humiliated me today. I will make you remember it forever, Laura. Honey. Are you coming home now? No, I'm at work. What's the matter, honey? Mom just called me and told me to bring you home. You mean your parents' house, right? Yep. Is it gonna be a special family gathering? Are some relatives gonna visit us? Yes. It's for a special family gathering. But no one is visiting us. Oh. It's about something serious, isn't it? Yes. It seemed to be very serious. My mom sounded really furious. What happened between you and Amy? Wow. I didn't expect it to be the problem, but I guess she told everyone that I was mean to her, didn't she? Yes, sort of. So exactly what happened? I don't believe you could be mean to anyone. Of course I've never been mean to anyone. If there's someone I don't like, I just ignore them and don't care about them anymore. I've been nice all the time. Even when she called me a witch. Just because I didn't give her what she wanted. She called you a witch. What the hell? What did she want from you? But you two aren't even that close. Why didn't she ask me? I know. Right? At first she acted like we were so close and she cared so much about me. Then suddenly everything became ridiculous. You wouldn't believe it even if I told you. Honey. What happened? She asked me to lend her $80,000. When I asked her what she used the money for, she became angry and started to offend me. But I didn't expect her to tell your mom. How shameless she is. What? I can't believe it. Money isn't paper and we're not that rich. Wait. Josh and Amy are millionaires. Why did Amy have to borrow money from you? That's what I told her, but she didn't listen. And she didn't tell me why she needed the money. She even said like, we owed Josh and Amy's money. Because you spent Josh's money to study in the UK. And now you and I had to pay it back. 
How dare she said that? I know how hard you have worked to be who you are now. What? Okay. That's enough. You don't need to come to the family gathering, honey. I will handle it. No, I must come. You mom's angry at me. I must show up and explain it myself. All right. Don't worry. I'll be there with you, honey. If anyone says anything offensive to you, don't endure it, okay? I will stand up for you. Thank you so much, honey. It means a lot to me. Honey, you know I love you so much. I will protect you. Okay. I'll be home in one hour. Then we'll go straight to your parents' house together. Is that okay for you, honey? It's perfect, honey. Okay, I will see you later. See you later, honey. Have fun working. <laughs>